in sight. And I'm saying I picked up this. That's a nice old lead, but look here. There's some kind of embossed bottle. Hopefully that's... Oh, it's brilliant. Great seal. That's so great. What the heck that was? Some kind of huge water bottle. Look at that. That's too bad. Right after Prohibition Whiskey, it says something whiskey. RD9135, April 1931. I would have liked to have that. This is all beautiful. UDLT, Vancouver, Canada. That's cool. Look at this slip here. Now look at this. These are all like 1930s whiskeys. Look at this. There's a cork one. Full pint. Look at this one. It's got designs all over it. This one has designs too. Oh, this one's going to be nice. Oh, ho, ho. these are nice. This one's aqua laying out. Look at this one. I'll have to look around here. It's the same type, I think. It's a, you know, it's a little different. These are awesome. Look at this one. Yeah, th these are great. Awesome. Here. I'm glad I come here. There's the bottle just laying out. If, you know, of course, falling right out of this. Man. All right, I'll get you. Well, I don't even know what to say on these. I save all them caps from the other dumps. I dig on, and these are just beautiful Art Deco whiskey flasks from, you know, the 30s. Found that broken 30s one. This had a paper label there. This is aqua. That's beautiful. The condition is just like brand new. Had a nice black cap for this one. This one's not aqua, but it's nice. These are beauties. These are beauties. I'd want 20 for the pair. Later. Here's a little nice fishing lure. Man, that looks exactly like a little bluegill. That's a nice lure. I'm still looking this place. I'll show you here. Look at that little lure. Let's see this, how it's all eroded. So we're gonna look down on this together. I'm seeing stuff from way far off. Here's something else. This looks like maybe an old beer. What is this? Oh, it's... It's another Raymond. I just found a blob one of these now. I'll show it next. Look at this beauty. In fact, with mud. Man, that's washed right out of the bank. That's a beautiful mint condition bottle. It's machine made, but that's nice. Wow. All right, here's this bottle. It's super nice. It's mint. It's machine made, but this Raymond Brewing Company in Wheeling was, it was open from 1880 to 1914. So this bottle is right at the end. It's like, you know, 1910 to 1914 probably. Um, and you know, I just found one of these sticking out of the bank on another river site right here. Look at this beautiful one. This would be one of the earliest bottles. This would be an 1880s one with that probably applied blob there. That's a beautiful bottle, wow. But my goodness, you know, find that laying out today, I can't believe it. That's just, look how nice that bottle is. It's just as nice a one of these as you could ask for. It's like picking up a $20 bill in this condition. See, it has like a six right there. See how it's made. That's a hundred plus year old beer bottle. It newest, it's 1914. Later. I've been looking for 10 minutes from both of them whiskey flasks, that beer. Now I see something else up here. Yeah, this looks very good. It's a cork bottle right in the bank there. Look at that. That's older. Probably embossed, but it's gone. I'll have to look all around and make sure I don't see any real nut gear sticking out. Well, here's a big fishing rig. Look at that. Fathom inshore. Yeah, probably like three or four bucks. Take that. It's just sticking out of the bank. Look at this old. It says independent. This is nice. You can see it there, huh? I'd like to have seen that, but this is what cut. Well, that's break. There's a top of a. Uh, see, there's stuff here. I just gotta find where it's coming out of the bank. <laughs> And all kinds of lures on this stretch of river. There's another one. Look at that nice little lure. Great for bass. It's been a while since this happened. I'm getting closer to a town now. 
It's hard to find marbles off town dumps, and I got one here, and it looks like some kind of swirl. Look at this beauty right here. All right. Some kind of like swirl. Look at it. Green swirl. It ain't bad condition. Nice. See, this marble, see that? That's play dingage. But man, that's a beautiful marble. Look at it. That might even be a Christian's, and that's just, that's too bad that's got play dingage. That's like a 1 out of 10 on condition. From a collector standpoint, it's not that good. Later. I almost didn't see this. This looks cool. What the heck is this? Some kind of little real weird container. What the heck? Look at that thing. I'll clean it up. That is odd. Huh. You know, a few dump clips here at the end of interesting things I found. Look at this little jar. This isn't on the river. This was a dump above the river. I dig some. That's very odd, isn't it? Very odd shaped thing. Thought I'd show you. Kind of a nice find. Back over in here, this is where I've been. This is where I got on the vitro agate to my last video. Down in here, I got to dig it out. But I was raking, I'm going to try to get this rock and roll, and I see a marble. What's that? Ah, oh, another bumblebee. All right. Oh, man. This is a hybrid one. This is a little better. This is a little better. Oh, it's got beautiful patterns. I mean, very unique. I'll show you this with a good... Oh, man. It's got drizzle on it. This is beautiful. It's a day maker already. Look at that. You know, look at this bumblebee from that previous clip. Look at that blend, blended color. Kind of a greenish color there. Look at that. That right in there is beautiful. Look at that. Holy smokes. I mean, that's only one nice marble today, but that's going to look nice in the frame. Later. I'm back home. A pretty quick hunt, and I did good. And here's my buddy. He begged to come out. Look at him. And there's Dog Bubby Express and Escobar, the raccoon. He made a guest star appearance last night. I'll try to film him in the future. He hadn't shown up for about a year. He's been way up in the woods up there. Um, and Squirrel Daddy is going crazy. And guess what? Here comes Reginald down the steps. There he comes. He's ready. He's gonna want some belly rubs, that's for sure. Look at him. Hey, Reggie. What's going on, Reg? Look at him. He's a good boy watching. There it is, he wants belly rubs right here. Look at this boy, what's going on here? Tell him. You've been here, you're a good boy, but you're driving me crazy. You're wanting to come out all the time and get ear and cheek rubs, aren't you? You get down here and get some exercise. Well, I hope you enjoyed. I got my hands full here. Look at this. The animals swarm me. The squirrel man's just going to sniff around here in the flowers. I'll see you on the next one, folks. Later.